Yo, what is up y'all? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and I hope y'all having a nice day. And in this video what we're going to be talking about is a very easy working semi-solo car duplication glitch here in GTA 5 Online. Uh, after the setup of this glitch, it is 100% solo, alright? So you will need a friend for the setup. Uh, and the setup will take a few minutes and then after that you will be able to duplicate completely solo uh but yeah we're not gonna waste much time at all if you do go on to enjoy the video please feel free to smash that like button and if you are new around here also consider subscribing as well it really would help out the channel all right so to get into some requirements if you are the one duplicating vehicles uh you will need an moc make sure you do have the personal vehicle storage in bay three and in the back of the moc you will want a free elegy or any, or any vehicle you do not mind losing, all right? So store that in the back of the MOC. Uh, from there, you guys will also need a CEO tower with at least one garage floor. Uh, make sure you do have open spaces in that garage in order to save your duplicates, and you'll also need to own the custom auto shop in your CEO tower as well. And in addition to that, I do recommend to be in a free aim session. We will need to use uh, somebody that is playing it in a different target mode here in just a little bit. So it is recommended for you guys to be in a free aim session and make sure you guys are in an invite only session as well. All right. So from there, you guys want to go ahead and meet up with your helper here inside of his bunker. Uh, and then he's going to go ahead and pull out a vehicle out of his MOC. Any vehicle is fine. Just go ahead and pull out. He's going to go ahead and pull out a vehicle out of his MOC and pull it to the back of it with you in the passenger seat. Uh, they will need a Lester heist invite to the facility. So to a setup or something like that over there at the facility, uh, your friend will need this uh, invite from Lester on his phone. So once he's behind the MOC with the right D-pad option with you in the passenger seat, he's going to bring open his phone, go to that blue Lester heist invite. Uh, and then what he's going to do is start spamming right on the D-pad uh, pretty quickly. And then he's going to accept the invite uh, to the um, heist over there at the facility as he's spamming right on the D-pad fairly quickly. All right. Uh, you should see the taillights uh, light up there indicating that you have uh, basically hit right d-pad as you accepted there uh, what should happen here is your friend uh, here uh, should end up going up in the clouds and then you should end up uh, either spawning in the back of the moc frozen just like so or you will be stuck on an infinite black loading screen but uh, nonetheless either way is fine all right uh, we're going to go ahead and switch to the friend's perspective here he is going to end up coming down from the clouds uh, after about a minute or a minute and a half or so in the clouds he'll come down and spawn in the facility all right uh, he may spawn down here and end up getting kicked out of the facility um, because as you'll see here when I spawn up, this is not actually my facility that I spawned into. Uh, so they did kick me out. But uh, either way, guys, what you want to do from here is make your way to your uh, Duper's CEO garage, all right? And then grab your MOC and park it just outside of your uh, Duper's uh, CEO garage, all right? So you will need to know where his CEO garage is. Uh, go ahead and park the MOC just outside of the garage. Now from here, in order to get our duper off the black screen or out of the MOC, the helper here is gonna go ahead and start a quick job activity. Uh, you can go ahead and start it with friends in session. Once it is populating, uh, as you can see here, we just got the invite, but uh, once it is populating, uh, the duper here who is in the back of the MOC or on the black screen is gonna go ahead and join uh, the helper here. All right, once they are populating, uh, once they join them, they are gonna go ahead and accept the first alert and the private alert. Uh, as you can see here, we do need to go ahead and attempt again because now we are on an infinite black loading screen, unfortunately. Uh, so go ahead and just join your helper here again, uh, and then accept both alerts once again, and then uh, you should end up spawning back down here. Uh, as you'll see, I am going to spawn up here next to where my helper is. Um, that is because I did uh, have the helper grab the MOC before starting up the quick activity. Um, if you guys do have the same exact bunker, what you can do is have your helper... Uh, get you off the black screen or get you out of the MOC before they grab their MOC and park it by your garage. In that case, the duper then should uh, spawn up over there at the bunker, uh, making the next process a little bit quicker. But uh, from there, what you're going to do here is the helper uh, is going to go ahead and leave session. All right, so they are done with their job. The setup is completely done. Uh, it is now completely solo from here on out. We can now duplicate vehicles uh, and our friend can just go ahead and leave session. Uh, it is recommended to make sure you do not have your friend join the session again. Uh, that may mess up the glitch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make our way over to our bunker now. All right, once we are at our bunker, and if you do have the farmhouse bunker, I do recommend to call for the vehicle you are looking to duplicate uh, where I am here. Otherwise, it will spawn over by the uh, highway, and it is just a hassle to have to go get it. 
Um, but you're going to make your way to your bunker, call out the vehicle you are looking to duplicate. I do recommend a fully upgraded Arena War Issy. Um, but from here, you're going to pull into the bunker. You should be on an infinite black loading screen. Once you are on this infinite black loading screen, you're going to find somebody who is playing in a different targeting mode and you're going to go ahead and join them. If you do not know for sure if they are in a different targeting mode, once you are on the join alert here, you can go ahead and join them for a second time and it should automatically switch to the targeting mode alert. Uh, and then once you have the targeting mode alert on screen, make sure you do, do decline the targeting mode alert. Uh, and then once you do, you should spawn up in the bunker just like so. Uh, go ahead and pull up to the back of the MOC. All right, you're going to hit the right D-pad option. Once you hit right D-pad, you guys should see a glitched out screen just like this. Uh, as you'll see here in just a second uh, once you hit right d-pad you'll end up seeing a glitched out screen just like so uh, once you are on this glitched out screen go ahead and bring open your interactions menu go down to kill yourself all right and take the easy way out all right guys uh, so yeah that's about five hundred dollars so it will cost you a little tiny bit of money there but uh, go ahead and kill yourself and then as you can see there in the wasted screen we are actually outside of our ceo there uh, which is perfect all right so once you spawn back up, go ahead and make your way back to your ISI. Uh, as you can see here, the license plate, uh, the license plate here did indeed change, thus making it a clean duplication. Uh, so no, no custom license plates or anything like that needed for this one. Uh, but once you jump back in your ISI or the car you are looking to duplicate, you want to go ahead and pull it into your uh, CEO garage. And like I said, make sure you do have empty spaces here in your CEO garage. That way you can indeed save the duplicates. Once you guys pull in here, you want to go ahead and order another free LG uh, and place it in the back of your MOC, okay? Uh, now you can use other vehicles like a Fagio or anything like that, but it is recommended just to use a free vehicle like the free LG. Uh, that way you're not actually spending money. Uh, so go ahead and order that free LG and place it into the back of your MOC. Uh, and then once you do that, you can jump back into the duplicate here. And now we need to actually fully save the duplicate. So what we need to do is hit right D-pad to pull it into our auto shop. Uh, or our, our custom auto shop, sorry guys. Uh, you wanna make one change on the duplicate here and then go ahead and exit uh, via ground or uh, back to the garage here. Um, and then that's pretty much it. This is one duplicate now saved. Uh, and then to rinse and repeat, all you guys wanna do is just uh, go ahead and head back to your bunker, uh, either by job teleporting or uh, taking a helicopter or something like that there. Either way, uh, just make your way back to your bunker uh, and then continue the process from there. Once you pull into your bunker with the car you're looking to duplicate, uh, it will um, put you on a black screen and then uh, join so many different targeting mode. Accept the first, decline the second, uh, and then you'll spawn in the bunker and then obviously just continue from there. But uh, real quick before I end the video, I want to let you guys know that you are absolutely amazing uh, with the support here on the channel lately. It is highly appreciated, so thank you very, very much for that. Uh, but that is going to do it for this one here. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And I do appreciate y'all for staying tuned in. This has been your boy, Hi Guy, and I'm out. Peace.